happy Labor Day. It's me, Jess. Um, so I wanted to talk about preparing for interviews, specifically forklift operator interviews, because I, oh, I'm by the pool. So if you hear background noise, um, but I've been talking to a lot of forklift operators lately, and they are having real trouble some, some do well, some have some trouble with passing interviews. Um, I happen to work at a large consumer packaged goods company. So we have multiple factory locations where we need forklift operators. So these are people that can um, operate a forklift, different types of forklifts, sit down, stand up, whatever, to move large amounts of material, uh, typically from our warehouse. Um, to a factory or vice versa and they're typically doing this in a pretty fast-paced environment so there's specific questions that will be asked for um, any of our forklift operator interview candidates so in thinking about that um, I've had oh my gosh at least 25 people that could not pass our interview and it's really sad you know um, they're great people they could have a great personality but just can't pass that interview portion so I thought I would make a video to help um, if you are looking for a maybe better paying job in a larger company or maybe just a place that has better work hours then be prepared for some specific questions during your interview I want you to be as prepared as you possibly can and um, I hope this will help. So the number one thing that most companies, if they're looking for um, folks to actually be in their factory, especially a forklift operator, is gonna be the number of years of experience you have operating a forklift. Typically, we're gonna need at least six months of experience um, of you actually operating a forklift in a work environment. So not just, oh, you know, I've had some experience here and there. We need it to be a consistent experience over at least six months. Um, so that's the number one thing. The next thing is going to be, uh, so when it comes to safety in larger companies, safety is very important. I know that in some places, some environments, safety is not as important and they're just focused on you getting your job done not in a large corporation larger companies are going to have specific compliance standards safety specific standards that they're going to need to um, stand by and they need people that align with that so you know you may be asked questions around your thoughts on safety who you feel is uh, responsible for safety and also you know situations where you seen unsafe uh, maybe safety hazards or an unsafe situation and how you dealt with that situation. Typically, you're, we're gonna wanna hear that you escalated the situation or um, you, know, you took it upon yourself to make sure that a situation was safe. So that's gonna be the second thing. Next is gonna be, as, along with any other job, attendance. We need to make sure that you're gonna show up, especially if you, you know, especially in a forklift operator job because not everyone can do that you know you don't show up we can't just pick a production operator that has never operated a forklift before and put them on you know it's it's just tough so if you have had attendance issues just be ready to talk about it you know certain situations for example I was talking to someone recently who had a health situation that came up and so they could not attend work or they um, another situation where they their wife was having their baby <laughs> and uh, their manager and everything knew that they may need to you know take leave it happened earlier okay so we can understand those things but if there's a real trend in you not attending work then that's gonna be an issue and the next thing I would <laughs> encourage you to prepare for it's just going to be um, knowledge of the company. This is typically something that every interviewer is going to ask. You know, why do you want to work for the company? Whether it is um, you 
know about the company name, you um, saw that uh, your friend or family member worked there, you should have something that we can kind of go off of um, as to why you're actually wanting the job because we're going to be asked that from the hiring team. And my last thing here is um, something that I think it can be really passed over by folks that have worked for many, many years. You know, I'm talking 10, 20, 30 years sometimes. It can be a challenge to actually remember the dates that you've worked. So I mean, you know, the month that you, the month and year that you started a job and the, um, month and year that you left a job and moved on to the next job and the reasons why you left <laughs> um, especially thinking about the most recent experience so over the past maybe seven or eight years really understanding those dates because again in a larger company um, we're going to move forward in the process with a background check before you can actually work and a part of that background check is going to be verifying those employment dates so um, those would be the things I would say keep in mind. Number one, just make sure you have the right experience that's required a lot of the time. So it's going to be at least six months operating forklift and you're going to need to talk about that experience and the type of forklifts you've operated. So just be ready for it. Um, number two, making sure that you can talk about safety, making sure you know you bring up anything where you've you know, taking it upon yourself to make sure that um, something was safe at work, you can be ready to talk about it. Number three, what was my number three? <laughs> um, so number three, oh, I think I said, um, just making sure that you can talk about your attendance. Good attendance is always, it always sounds good to a recruiter. So if you haven't had good attendance or you've had certain situations, be ready to talk about it. And um, the next one is just making sure that you know why you're applying to this job and you can say something. We don't want to hear, uh, well, you know what, just thought I'd be a match. <laughs> Sometimes that doesn't work. So just be ready to talk about a couple of reasons why you want to work at that specific place. And then the last thing is just making sure that as you're applying, you can recollect the dates that you were employed. I know that a lot of times for, um, if you're in the factory environment to apply for jobs, you do not need a resume, but I really suggest having a resume for this reason. Um, it's really easy to recall, you know, specific dates that you've worked. If you've been tracking them via a resume, you can use that resume to apply to a job. You can you also use that resume to verify those dates for the recruiter when we ask you. So it's just easy. I know it can be a lot of work up front, but even if it's just a word doc, maybe someone else helping you create it, put down those dates, and then you can use that and keep it updated from there. And then the next time you're asked, you have it. So um, I hope this is helpful. I know working in a larger company, a lot of the times there's better pay, there's better work hours, you know, there's um, normally multiple shifts that you can take, not just the night shift. Um, so in also the environment, again, it's typically very safe and people enjoy um, working with each other because you're going to have good training. You're um, going to be cared for um, a lot of times in a larger company. So um, those are just my tips coming from a recruiter. If you are going to be interviewing for a forklift operator job, if you like the video, give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Um, I definitely hope it's helpful for someone. You know, interviewing is tough and these are just some things that I've seen based on my experience. All right, until next time, have a great Labor Day weekend. Bye.